Okay. So let's see how this tool works. Let's go over there really close. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of edges here. We uh, what I have to do is just have to be very gentle with the with the tool. As you can see, I'm uh, taking quite a short strokes with the, with this brush, so it's uh, easy to avoid the patterns. I think this is where we get into a nice effect. Let's try to paint over there. So we have this nice uh, curve and um, and the shape of the nostril inside. Okay, and uh, oops, it didn't work well. Okay, let's see how it was before, how it is now. I know sometimes uh, this job it's not uh, the most uh, amazing, um, it's sometimes uh, really disgusting to work with the boogies, especially when you when you work with the with the children photography. <laughs> it is sometimes it's a um, it's a lot of fun to take a pictures, but retouching them uh, it's not so great. But I think being a parent, it's the same thing. But at the end of the day, it's all about having great photo. Okay, so let's see how we had uh, her, and how we don't have any. We still keep some, but not a uh, long one, and uh, so they all look good and and alright we can do that like I said uh, those few parts uh, will be very boring and, uh, and it's all about retouch if not uh, if you don't like it you can skip it and uh, go to to other parts uh, when I will show you how how to uh, few parts further where I will show you how to uh, work with the uh, shadows and highlights and how to get a really nice uh, three-dimensional look of, of your photograph. With eyes, some people uh, they do weird stuff because they keep forgetting that um, it's not uh, very white and uh, and they keep going really uh, really far with the uh, with retouching and they just lose three-dimensional shape of uh, of the eye itself and it doesn't look right and because uh, eyes are three-dimensional uh, they have three dimensions and then they have shadows as well here there are shadows that we have to keep and, and always remember about them because if not, the the eye will look just fake. And um, yeah, so that's what we do. We just keep retouching those small details and uh, and small. In the eye, we remove those veins, uh, so because eyes they are the most important in the portrait, as probably you you all know. And um, oops, uh, they they the most. Uh, important so they draw attention and uh, we have to focus quite uh, uh, the we have to focus on on the retouching of eyes uh, even more than other parts of of the, of the face because uh, people will see that if you did something wrong it looks just weird and uh, here we, we I'm I keep using the same tool as you can see I'm just changing the uh, even on the same settings I'm just uh, removing the those little veins that they look unhealthy and we don't like to have them uh, in, in our eyes especially with the young ones with the young models and uh, with the when you photograph in youth and and oops youth and uh, healthy uh, beauty picture and here we have a 
model that she's uh, she's young and we want to keep this um, effect I think I'm gonna leave a few of okay so this is how it was uh, how it is now uh, there is a quite a huge gap between those uh, two pictures let's try to with the small strokes uh, let's try to remove a few wrinkles I'm gonna keep oh, let's remove those oops we have pattern and I'm just going to the really weird shape and uh, let's see if it works no it doesn't okay let's leave it here we have some weird shape that we want to avoid it looks like wrinkles and uh, we just want to remove it Kay. as we can see the uh, lips they are almost healthy they look almost good And so on and so on. We keep retouching the same, same parts, same bits and pieces, and uh, same face. You spent hours. Uh, so, guys, wherever you go to the session, now you can see that how many details we 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 can get from your face. Then let's get some texture. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy here. All right, so uh, we're almost done. Uh, now we have this uh, tricky part here, and um, let's see from the distance. Wh when I'm t look too close, you always remember to zoom in and zoom out because if you if you don't do that, you just lose the track sometimes and uh, and picture doesn't look uh, right and you just go too deep into into retouching you just can get you can just lose the track of what you're doing <laughs>